So I am going to do a video for today's afternoon class. I realized that I have a meeting at one o'clock and I'm unable to do the live mini lesson. So today we are, oh, I'm sorry. Today we are going into module eight, lesson 11. Today we're going to describe a whole by the number of equal parts, including two halves, two thirds, three thirds, and four fourths. First of all, let's talk about the word whole. The word whole means the entire amount, as in one. So this is one circle, one rectangle, one rectangle. And we're gonna talk about the number of equal parts inside of a whole. So this whole has two parts, this whole has three parts, and this whole has four parts. We're going to talk about how many parts are shaded in. So we're going to say that this whole has two halves shaded in, and this whole has one third shaded in, and this whole has one, two, three fourths shaded in. It doesn't matter if the um, shaded part is in the front, in the back, if it, there is a blank in between, you're counting how many shaded parts there are in all. So if we look at our math book today, today we're going to be working on pages 49, I'm sorry, yep. 49, yep, that's right, and 50 in our math book, and it says, um, for parts A, B, and C, identify the shaded area. So you want to identify how many pieces have been shaded in. So how many pieces were sh are shaded in here? How many pieces are shaded in here? Circle the shape above that has a shaded area that shows one hole. Remember, a hole means the entire amount. Then C, how many parts are shaded in? How many parts are shaded in? How many parts are shaded in? And then circle the shape above that has a shaded area that shows one hole. Which of these shows a hole shaded in? E is the same way. How many fourths are shaded in? And then circle the shape above that has the shaded area that shows one hole. Which of these ha shows one hole? On the back side, it is different. It says, what fraction do you need to color so that one hole is shaded? So this is shaded. Now we're talking about the parts that are not shaded. How many fractions do you need to color so that you have one hole shaded? How many parts do you need to color? And this answer needs a number and a word. The words are half, halves, thirds, or fourths. So is this a half? Is this a third? Or is this a fourth? This picture shows thirds because I see three equal pieces. So I am going to use the word thirds here. Did you see how I figured out the word? Now I need to figure out the number. How many pieces do I need to shade in so that I can show a hole? Well, if I look, I would need to show, to fill in two thirds in order to have a, a hole. So first you need to determine are there halves, thirds, or fourths? And then how many pieces do you need to shade in to show a hole? You're gonna do the same for B, C, D, E, and F. And then for three, it says complete the drawing by showing one hole. This is one half, draw one hole. Okay, this is half. They want you to draw the hole. So there's how many pieces missing? 
this is one third. So I, they want you to show the whole. If this is one third, how many pieces are missing and you need to draw in? This is one fourth. That means you need to draw how many pieces to show one whole. Think, what does the word fourths mean? What does the word third mean? What does the word half mean? You need to add on to this rectangle and this rectangle and this rectangle. All right, if you are stuck with the math lesson, send me a class dojo message and I will be happy to help you. If you get done with this quickly, challenge yourself and go ahead and do pages 51 and 52 to give yourself more practice. We will be meeting um, to go over the closing of our day at 2.30, okay? So this Zoom meeting is not going to be a Zoom meeting. I'm actually going to delete this and I am going to put my um, YouTube video instead where it says math mini lesson. All right. I will see you all at 2.30.